the downgrading to junk status can be squarely laid on the door of the reckless decision to remove the previous National Minister of Finance. This was stated by one of the rating agencies, and it's in a reality that we all must face. Let us not pretend that political divisions that exist within the governing party do not impact negatively on our ec economic well-being. The politics of division and policy uncertainty are a contributing factor to our poor economic growth. Phrases such as radical economic transformation and white monopoly capital, which I believe were invented you must listen. They were invented by a British public relations firm Honourable to counter members. the state capture narrative. Honourable members. Honourable okay. Thank you. So, so what we need instead of uh, catchphrases are real solutions to the problems that South Africa um, Honourable faces. Stevenson, there's a hand. Uh, Honourable Bayer. Thank, thank you so much, Deputy Speaker. Can the Honourable Member, who happens to be my dear friend, kindly take a question? Uh, not, not today, thank you. Uh, <coughs> yeah. What, when, when our National Minister of Finance was asked to explain radical uh, economic growth to investors, he said what he's referring to is inclusive economic growth. And everyone here, I'm sure, sub sub subscribes to inclusive economic growth, to get rid of inequality, get rid of poverty, and create jobs. That's at the heart of uh, inclusive economic growth. Yes. I like, I like inclusivity, yes, but not, in, not the kind of inclusivity Honourable which results Stevenson, in, in, in there's, there's a, another hand. Yeah. Uh, Honourable Martin. Madam as a Deputy Speaker, I just wanted to ask the member is his, if he's willing to answer where was Naba? I, I said earlier on. Um, <laughs> I'm not uh, prepared to take questions. But if you don't know where he is, I can assure the Honorable Martin, you'll soon find out. Um, some of the radical change that we need in our, our country today is we need to get rid of corruption. We need to get rid of state capture because that is gobbling up billions of rands that could be there for development. And if we free up those kind of resources, we will help to put our economy on the correct path. And, uh, another aspect which directly impacts on the economy of the province is the payment to suppliers. Stevenson, there's another hand. Honourable one. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, I thought the Honourable Member would make a reflection on the bank's collusion on the devaluation of RAND, as well as the, um, uh, the big construction companies that uh, went in bed uh, during the 2010 World Cup stadium construction. Is, is that a question? Honorable Stevenson. Uh, uh, Honorable Speaker, Honorable, Honorable Deputy Speaker, I would request that you apply the rules of this House fairly. The rule is, will the Honorable Member take a question, not allow the Honorable Member to, make, to, to pose his question? Thank you. Yeah. Could, uh, uh, Honourable Deputy Speaker, could I have that assurance, please? You, you may proceed. Uh, a point of order, Madam Speaker. Uh, I, I would like, order. with respect, Honourable okay. Deputy Speaker. There's point of order. Honourable Stevenson, there's a point. In conclusion, uh, Honourable Deputy Speaker, this province must embrace innovation, become forward thinking in its focus, become a beacon of hope that will reverse the migration trends and attract the investment and people that we need. And that requires all members of this House to ensure that the oversight we do is vigorous, 
solution oriented and ends up making a difference to ensure that our economy flourishes, our economy Thank grows. You very much. Thank you, Honorable uh, Deputy Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Stevenson.